Trump just royally enraged Obama with who he set free today, remember these two? The Trump administration is siding with a Christian baker who wasn't interested in cooking a cake for a gay couple. The gay couple wanted a wedding cake, but the baker claimed their sexual lifestyle, or marriage, was against his religious beliefs. Jack Phillips, the baker, must be ecstatic that he's been set free by Team Trump. He wasn't locked up, but he was up against a wall with a battle versus a demanding bake couple who wanted to violate his constitutional rights and force him to bake their cake. If a Christian baker doesn't want to make a cake dedicated to the wedding nuptials of a gay couple, then that's his choice. If Islamic people in prison can get better food because of their religion, then a baker can resist a cake for a couple because of his religion. Masterpiece Cake Shop, owned by previously mentioned Jack Phillips, is hopefully booming with business now that he's cleared of this nonsense. President Trump's administration has sided with a Christian baker who refused to make a gay couple's wedding cake because he claimed their marriage went against his religious beliefs. Forcing Jack Phillips, the owner of Masterpiece Cake Shop in Denver, to bake a wedding cake for two men would be a violation of his constitutional rights, the Department of Justice declared on Thursday. This could slip the slippery slope of other people refusing to bake cakes for people for silly reasons. This might set the precedence for people who turn down customers for whatever reason they wish. Do we really want that for America? Do we want the freedom to choose your customers, or your customers to choose you? Perhaps it should be mutual and customers and business owners should choose each other. If a baker isn't interested in baking a cake for a gay couple, then why would the gay couple bother them any further about it? Just find a new baker. Obviously the business-to-customer relationship isn't working, so move along and find someone who better suits the needs. The baker is challenging a Colorado law that says he was wrong to have turned away Charlie Craig and David Mullins, who wanted a cake to celebrate their nuptials in 2012. Phillips refused because his religion does not support same-sex marriage and said he should not be compelled to bake a cake that would specifically honor that. He shouldn't have to bake a cake for something that goes against his religious views. The tricky part here is that some leftists will say things like then people don't have to bake cakes for cops either, but that's a nonsensical argument. Being a cop isn't against anyone's religion. There's no religion that frowns upon being a police officer, but there might be a few religions that aren't interested in two men having a relationship together. Was it worth it for people to waste years in legal battles over a cake? Absolutely not. Give a bad review on Yelp and move on. The fact that the Supreme Court would even hear this is hilarious. I guess civil rights and cakes are big business in the Supreme Court nowadays. Good thing the Justice Department wrote a brief on it too. A portion of the brief read, forcing Phillips to create expression for and participate in a ceremony that violates his sincerely held religious beliefs invades his First Amendment rights. In the view of the United States, a First Amendment intrusion occurs where a public accommodations law compels someone to create expression for a particular person or entity and to participate literally or figuratively, in a ceremony or other expressive event. The legal fight broke out in 2012 when Phillips told Mullins and Craig that because of his Christian beliefs, his store's policy was to deny service to customers wanting to purchase cakes to celebrate a same-sex wedding. After the couple was turned away, they complained about the shop on Facebook, then filed a complaint with the Colorado Civil Rights Commission. The state sided with the couple. Are people really that mad when a business isn't interested in working with them? Sometimes things don't work out the way people expect them to. I'm not sure Americans should be forced to do things they're uncomfortable with if there's a religion involved. However, we have to tread lightly and intelligently on this topic. American people can't let this bite us back when someone decides to turn down business against one of us. What is your opinion?
Should the baker have been forced to do something against his religion? Or did they do a great job and set the baker free from all responsibility of baking a cake for a gay couple? No matter what happens, people on the left will blame Trump and we will crack up laughing when they do. People are already blaming Trump for the hurricanes. Can you believe the world we live in? We don't need no